Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. In today's video, I will show you how to use Smart Select for your Samsung Notes. So guys, first of all, I will open the Samsung Notes, okay? And here you can open a new note from here. Now, uh, whatever information you want to bring, you can use the Smart Select. So for example, I want to bring some information from a website. So I open this Edge panel, okay? And then I open the Samsung internet browser and I drag it in the split screen view okay so I open it like this okay so now for example I open this website and there are some graphs or uh, some pie charts or some other information that I want to bring into my notes so what I will do is I will just open this air command option and then I select this option of smart select okay so I open this tool so I select it, okay, you see there is a bar open uh, downside and now you can select any information. So I want to select this graph, okay, and I want to bring it to my notes, okay. So I just select it, you can see over here, okay, and now you can see it's now selected. Now I can directly drag this pie chart into my Samsung notes okay so I just press and hold it with my S pen okay like this and then simply I can move it I can drag it into my Samsung notes okay so you can see over here and now I can keep it here okay and now if you want you can resize it okay if you want to rotate it you can rotate so you can do a lot with this Okay, before it was not like that. Before you have to download it using this icon over here and then you have to bring it into your Samsung Notes. But now you can directly drag it. It is really, really amazing. So guys, you can also bring any kind of text, okay? So for example, I move back, okay? And then for example, for the same website, I want to bring this text into my notes. So same way I will select this smart select tool. Okay. And I just select this area. Okay. Where I have my text. Okay. So I select it. Now you can see it is now selected. Now simply again, what I will do is I can simply bring it into my notes. Okay. So I just select it. Okay. So I select it like this and then I will drag it into my notes. Okay. And then I put it over here. So you can see over here, same text I can bring over here. Now, one more thing I want to add because it's like an image. Okay. So you cannot edit this text. Okay. But if you want to edit this text, you can also do it. All you have to do, you have to select this T icon over here, which is called extract text okay so same text you will extract I will show you so uh, I select this now the text has been extracted okay so it's now uh, extracted now what I will do is I will go down here okay I simply select this text okay with my S Pen okay I select this text till down and then I can move it into my notes now what I will do again I press and hold you can see you can see over here I press and hold and then I can put it over here okay so now this text you can edit okay it's the same text okay so you can see over here so that's the same text now this text you can edit okay so for example I select the keyboard option and I want to remove it so you can see over here so this text I can easily edit okay so I can put anything over here okay so this text you can edit. So guys, you can use any other source to bring information into uh, your notes. Okay. So for example, if you are watching a video and you want to select certain uh, specific part of the video, you can also smart select it and you can put into your notes or you have a PDF file. Okay. And from the PDF file, you want to extract some image or some text. You can do it the same way. Okay. So for example, uh, I try to open a PDF file. Okay. I open a new note from here and let's try this time on a PDF file. Okay. So I select this uh, edge panel and then I open this my files folder. Okay. In the split screen and then from here, uh, let's say I have a PDF file. Okay. So like this one. So I open this PDF file. 
okay so now you can see i open this pdf file and from this pdf file i want to bring some information okay so let's say i want to select this image again i use the smart select option so smart select tool okay i simply select this area okay you can see this image and then simply i press and hold it and i bring it into my notes okay same way if you want the text from pdf okay so this is a pdf file guys so for example i have this text okay i want to extract this text okay so let's say i will move it up okay like this okay now i select the smart select tool again uh, select this text okay so let's see what will happen okay so now this text is being selected okay now simply i can just hold it and i drag it over here like this but if you want to edit this text okay you can also edit it okay how you can do it simply use this extract text tool okay just select it okay so the text has been extracted over here you can see that is the same text so i select this text okay so now you can see i selected it till end now simply i can move it over here okay so let's see we can move it okay so you can see i can move it i will put it over here so now you can see so this text you can easily edit okay change okay so you can see you can edit this text okay and if you want you can also change its size okay for the size okay and so all the tools are available over here if you want to change the size you can select any size uh, you can also make it bold okay and then you can also change the font style okay you can put numbers you can put bullets so all you can do with this pdf text one more thing i want to add is you can also save your smart select work in a clipboard i will show you how so for example i select uh, some part okay so let's say this image okay so i use the smart select option okay i just select it okay so for example till here now it's been selected now i can simply save it okay so you see save and it is saved to the gallery now uh, what i will do is i can just finish this work from here and for example later at some point i want to use uh, that image so i bring out the edge panel okay and then uh, if you scroll uh, your edge panel you will see this clipboard option okay so you can see the image is now saved over here i can simply bring this image directly from here using my s pen you can see i can put it okay like this okay and then i can edit it as well so guys this is for today's video keep learning keep searching please subscribe to my channel guys thank you very much